Hi everyone, let us discuss line integral of a scalar field. Getting, I have mentioned here is line integral of a function, but here we consider a scalar field. Let us discuss what we have here. U be an any open subset of Rn. So let me draw the diagram. So we have any open set U, which is subset of Rn. Gamma be any curve in this set. So gamma be any curve in this set. Okay. After that, we have a parameterization alpha. So you know that alpha is a parameterization. That means it is defined on closed interval a, b. Okay. And its image will be that curve. So alpha is a parameterization of that curve gamma. And we have a continuous function f. Getting. So we have a continuous function f from u to r. So we have this function f from u to r. So this is the scenario we have. And what we have to do, we have to find the line integral of f over gamma. Okay, so the formula is, let me write here, then, okay, integration of f over gamma is equal to integration a to b. So a, b, that means the interval, endpoints of this interval, uh, getting closed interval. So a, b, I have taken here, f of alpha of t, right, norm, alpha dash of t, dt. So using this formula, we find line integral of a scalar field. See, as you can see here, let me mention here, huh, where alpha of t, as you can see here, alpha is from closed interval a, b to u. So u is a subset of r n. That means co-domain of alpha is r n, getting subset of r n. So it will have n number of components. So alpha 1 of t, alpha 2 of t, and so on. Let me write it here, alpha n of t. But here we take its derivative, that means we will have like this component, derivative of each component and alpha dash of t will be like this. So using this definition, okay, we find the value of line integral of any scalar field. Let us discuss one example so you can clearly understand this concept. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a part of helix getting whose parameterization is also provided to us. Alpha of t is equal to cos t sin t and t and t varies from 0 to pi by 2. We have a function uh, also given f of x, y, z is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. So we have to find the value of line integral of this scalar field f. So let us follow the definition. Okay. So then let me mention integration of f over gamma. So you are familiar with the definition getting we have to take 0 to pi by 2 since in a parameterization they have clearly mentioned t varies from 0 to pi by 2. So that limit we have to take. Next f of alpha of t you know that and after that we write norm alpha dash of t dt. Okay. So after that what will I do? I will put the values which we have. So let me mention here. Okay. We have some space. Let us use. Okay. So this is equal to integration. 0 to pi by 2, right, f of, what is alpha of t we have, cos t sin t t, cos t comma sin t comma t into norm, alpha dash of t, that, that means we have to take its derivative, derivative of cos t is minus sin t, derivative of sin t is cos t and derivative of t is 1, dt, okay, so let us simplify it further, integration 0 to pi by 2. So as you can see here, f of cos t sin t t, that means we have to follow the definition of f. Definition says, definition of f says x square plus y square plus z square. That means simply we have to take square of each component and we have to add. Let us see what will we have. So we'll have cos square t getting square of each term and add sin square t plus t square into norm of this one. So you know well how to find norm. Norm of x, y, z is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square. So yes, so square root of, we will have square of minus sin t is sin square t cos square t getting plus square of 1 is 1 dt. This is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2. Cos square plus sin square is 1. So we'll have 1 here. 1 plus t square sin square plus cos square is 1 again this 1 plus this one that means 2 root 2 we will have so root 2 dt so root 2 is a constant so it will come outside outside the integration root 2 okay so let us take integration of this one integration of 1 is t integration of t square is t cube by 3 with limit 0 to pi by 2 
सो रूट टू लेट एस पुट अपर लिमिट पाए बाय टू सो हियर क्यूब ऑफ पाए बाय टू दैट इज पाए क्यूब बाय एट इन टू दिस थ्री दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी फोर सो वील हैव पाए क्यूब बाय ट्वेंटी फोर इफ आई पुट जीरो वी विल हैव जीरो गेटिंग नो नीड टू राइट सो दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ एफ ओके ओवर गैमा ओवर गिवन कर गैमा सो यस प्रॉब्लम इज ओवर हियर मेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट देन वी विल स्टॉप थैंक यू बाय बाय